Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech, and I wanted to show you 3D Touch. A lot of you have asked me about 3D Touch and asked me kind of to explain it and show the features. Now 3D Touch is basically what Force Touch was on the Apple Watch. So if I push, push a little bit harder, we get a little menu here and some options. And that's basically what they've carried over from the watch to the phone. So on the phone, we get the same idea, using your finger the touch and the actual pressure. So as your finger kind of flattens out as you push and using a combination of that and pressure, it knows when you're pushing harder. So if we push on Instagram here, it pops out like this. Now this is only available on the iPhone 6S and 6S Plus right now, but I would imagine in the future it'll be on most devices. And as you could see there, we get little different menus. So it's basically a right click for your phone. So we've got new message, new tweet and search. It's actually a pretty significant change to iPhone since pretty much the beginning of iPhone. All Apple apps seem to actually have this particular ability. So if I go to say pocket casts or groove push on these, if I push, you see the screen blurs slightly and lets you know that there's no menus hidden there. Same thing with Safari. We've got options the camera, we can do selfies and video and photos and calendar and phone. We've got all of these different options now within all of our different apps. So if I push on videos, we've got different things that I own. Let me turn the screen off and show you as well. We've got live motion wallpapers. This actually comes with the iPhone. So this is the tail of a fish. If I push and hold, and then let go, it goes back. So I push, I can push a little bit and you can see it moves more the harder I push. So the more force I put into it, let me see if I can show you that a little bit better from a side view. The more force I put into it, the more it moves. So if I push harder and let off lightly, it goes back and you can see I'm kind of pushing and based on how much force I put on there, makes a difference. So let's unlock the phone again here and take a look a little bit deeper. Now within 3D Touch, we have a couple other things called peak and pop. So if I go into mail, here's some trash from some email that I deleted, but I thought I'd show you this. Here's something from Newegg. If we push on this, we get a little peak and we can see what's in the email. Let up and it goes away. Same thing with, oh, let's pick eBay here peak and then let go. Now we can also peak slide to one side and go to unread or unread this side, delete it. So if I wanted to delete it, we do that and it goes away. Now the other thing we can do is pop. So maybe we're in this email. We peak, we want to read this a little more. We push a little bit harder and it pops. And the nice thing too, to go along with this, we get a little bit of feedback. There's actually a linear actuator inside that replaces the vibrate motor that used to be in the older iPhones. And instead it's a little weight with a basically magnet motor in there that shakes back and forth and gives you a little feedback. Same as the Apple watch as well. So as you push, you get feedback from that. So if I push, I feel it and it it jars the phone ever so slightly. I push again and it does it again. So it actually gives you that feedback. Maybe if you've seen the new MacBook and tried the, the new trackpad, the new force touch trackpad, it's the same idea. It's got a little motor that gives you that, that actual feedback and it works in all of your email. It's, it's pretty handy. And one thing I forgot to show you is if you push and slide up, you've got a bunch of different options as well. So it's kind of nice and you can quickly glance into everything. The other thing it does is allows you to get into your app switcher. So before you double click the home button and you get into your app switcher. But if you want to do that using 3D touch, you just push hard from the left side of the screen and you actually have to push pretty hard. And then we can slide through our app launcher, select what we want and go back. So if you push hard from the side and swipe in, it works well. If you have a case on it, it doesn't work so well because you have to kind of get to this edge and push in. So if I push in from here, it doesn't quite do it. So you have to get right to that edge and push. 3D Touch also has some options built in as well where we can adjust it a little bit. So if we go to general under our settings, scroll down to accessibility, under accessibility, scroll down, we've got 3D Touch. And under 3D Touch, we have some options. If you don't like it, you can simply turn it off. We can also change it to light touch sensitivity 
or firm. So right now it's on medium and this gives you an idea if you push, that's peak, peak and pop. You can go back to give us an idea how much we need to push. Maybe we want to try it on the light setting. And it doesn't feel too much different to me, but maybe let's try, let's go back and we'll try it on the firm setting here. And that feels like I'm going to break the screen a little bit. That's a lot of, a lot of pushing into the screen. I think medium is probably the right setting for me, but you've got those options as well. So if you don't like it, turn it off or adjust it. If you're finding you're activating it too easily, uh, you might want to make it firm or it's too hard to do, make it light. So that's pretty much it. A lot of apps don't support it right now. Uh, Google Maps, non-Apple apps, with the exception of what I've found is Instagram and Twitter, don't really support it yet. But you'll see more of this in the future as more and more apps are rolled out and updated. I'm sure you'll see a lot of different things. So Notes, again, has the same sort of thing. And it's kind of neat. You can see the pressure sensitivity as I push. That little ring around there grows. If you hold too long, though, it goes into the app delete. But you see that. It's really kind of neat. It's a neat thing to play around with. I don't know that it's a killer feature, but it's really nice to have on the phone and something a little bit extra. Let me know what you think about it in the comments below. If you've had a chance to play around with it, let me know what you think. Uh, you think it's worth it. I don't know that it makes it worth upgrading, but it's a neat feature to have. Let us know in the comments below. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe and like. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.